if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Tiaz back again and welcome to episode number 117 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. We start with a game at home in the Champions League against the side that recently beat Real Madrid in the Champions League, Wolfsburg. We're at home though at the Camp Nou, not away from home in Germany, which is where of course Real lost 2-0 earlier on in the week in real life. So hopefully we can get a decent result against the Messi and Suarez start. Uh, no Neymar still, of course, still injured for uh, a few more weeks, but Busquets and Sergio Roberto alongside me in the midfield rather than Andres Iniesta, who uh, scored a good goal for us last time out against Deport. We follow this game up with a game against Hetafe in the, in the league. If we aren't selected for that for fitness reasons, we should be though, then uh, we'll play in the first leg of the Copa del Rey that we're involved in this year. Of course, the first leg comes there and the second leg comes almost five or six weeks later uh, for some reason this uh, particular round of the Copa del Rey is uh, split ridiculously uh, across uh, such a large period of time but anyway Wolfsburg and Hetafe or the uh, the Copa del Rey with the round of which is yet to be drawn so far we currently sit third in the Champions League group as you can see behind Fenerbahce who we lost to but head of Anderlecht who uh, we beat in the last episode, or the episode before last, sorry. And now we play Wolfsburg to hopefully try and halt their march at the top of the table. So we'll do our best. If you enjoyed today's episode, then as always, make sure you drop the video a thumbs up rating and subscribe to the channel as well. If you haven't to this point, we are... Uh, unfortunately, YouTube gave me loads of subs, gave loads of people loads of subs uh, a couple of days ago and then wiped them all off again. We gained, I gained, personally, about seven or 800 subs and then it uh, lost about... 750 subs so uh, we we hit 140k and I said thank you in a video and uh, thank you on Twitter and then <laughs> they took all the subs away again it happened to uh, almost every FIFA YouTuber I think I didn't see anyone outside of the FIFA scene complaining about it or mentioning it so I'm not really too sure if it happened to everyone but definitely some FIFA YouTubers gained like I don't know, five or six times the amount of subs you normally do in a day, and then they all got taken off again at the end of the day. It was quite demoralising. But anyway, we'll uh, continue on, and hopefully we can get a good result here against Wolfsburg. And uh, fingers crossed, we can uh, continue our march through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. Work on the ball. Sandro into Sergio Roberto. Sergio Roberto. Nice knock around the corner. Jordi Alba pushing forward. He does love a little run, Jordi Alba, and that is a great ball into the box. The keeper's going to come. He's got there, but he's only as far as Messi, who buries it in the bottom corner. Clinical finish from Leo Messi. 1-0 Barcelona after 17 minutes. The first chance of the game and the first goal of the game as well. That ball in from Jordi Alba was a wicked cross. Luis Suarez couldn't get there. Messi would have been on the end of it, but Bernalio gets there, palms it out. And to be fair, away from danger, but Messi reacts first, turns around, and then fires it in at that near post. Unfortunately for Wolfsburg, the defenders nor the goalkeeper could do it anything about it it's 1-0 to Barcelona they do however have Oscar and Antoine Griezmann up top as you see there the two of them taking the kickoff so they do have attacking prowess in this side and it's no surprise that they're top of the group at this stage having not played us yet so we'll uh, have to be wary defensively because obviously Oscar is a good creator and Griezmann is a great finisher so they will have opportunities to score goals in this game you feel Wolfsburg but thankfully we've got ourselves an early lead which should should help settle the nerves and give us uh, uh, you know, kind of the confidence to push forward and hopefully get a win from this. We may end up with a second goal. No, Sebastian Jung gets the header away out for a corner, but we still could threaten. Sergio Roberto taking the set piece now, which is quite frustrating. I'm going to hit that first time, but it's gone over the top of the bar. It's quite frustrating that, uh, unfortunately, we're not on set pieces. Messi is in the side, so I thought he would be taking it, to be honest. But no, Sergio Roberto apparently on corners ahead of myself, which is annoying because we took corner, we took a couple of corners in the last episode and got a couple of accomplishments from it as well. Here's Griezmann on the counter-attack for uh, Wolfsburg. He's got the pace, but so does Danny Alves. He's got good feet to get away from there. Luis Gustavo feeds Maximilian Arnold. It goes for the shot from distance. It's going to drop to Danny Caligiuri, but it wouldn't quite... No, he's gone in. Oh, he was offside. It wouldn't quite drop from in time to hit as he was arriving on the scene. And he had to just hang fire. And unfortunately for him, he's offside. Otherwise, that would have been 1-1. Buried it quite nicely underneath the goalkeeper. Ter Stegen got something on it, but it went in the bottom corner. Thankfully for us, it's not going to count. Here comes Danny Caligiuri down the right-hand side and he's beaten Jordi Alba with a nice turn into Oscar who's got Julian, uh, Luis Gustavo sorry, waiting on the edge of the box but instead he went for the shot which is a little bit greedy. The ball is eventually going to drop here to Griezmann into Oscar again and again. Oh, what a save, Marc-Andre to Stegen. That's ridiculous. 
Absolutely fantastic reaction save there from close range. Saw it late, gets it up and over the top of the bar. Wolfsburg very, very dangerous when it comes to their attacking play. Been good defensively as well. We'll clear that away personally. Get it as far as Leo Messi. Could we get a counter-attack here? It's been slowed down by Messi. And Messi's then run into Sergi Roberto. Well, there goes any chance of a quick counter-attack. Or maybe not. He's picked out a dream pass to Sandro. He unfortunately had a nightmare first touch. Looks like it's going to be 1-0 at half-time. Alves finds me. Apparently we're making a change soon, but I'm not sure who it is that's going to be coming off or on. But Alexandro is played in, not Sandro, sorry. Alexandro? Alex Vidal. It was Sandro that Vidal came on for, and uh, Alex is his first name. But instead, I named a Brazilian left-back. Uh, I try and squeeze that through. Carlos Sassuais gets the block on it. Alex Vidal gets onto the ball again. Nice ball through by uh, Sergio Roberto there. We'll find Messi. Messi to make it two. Oh, he's got laid back to me. I wasn't ready for that, but we've scored the goal anyway. Come here, Leo. I want to celebrate with you. Oh, you were on the floor. Never mind. We'll do our little Spanish or technically Brazilian dance, and we'll take a 2-0 lead on the hour mark. Nice little setup for Messi. I played the ball through. I ex fully expected him to shoot, especially when he turned back in on his left. I was waiting for the whip, but he laid it back to me. The touch took it away from Dante, which was good, and then the finish was good enough into the bottom corner and away from the keeper enough that he wasn't able to get onto it. Unfortunately for Benaglio, that's the second goal he's conceded. We are 2-0 in front, although, to be fair, Wolfsburg have been by far the better side in this one, but we'll take the 2-0 lead and run away with it, hopefully. We'll give this to Messi down the line. It's going to break into that area there behind the defender which he's done really well he's in the box again Messi he might just go all the way Leo Messi great save by Benaglio I'm not going to have a more simple goal in my career Messi unfortunate not to get the uh, third goal for himself Benaglio really unfortunate that that dropped straight to me after a wonderful reaction save at the near post but myself and Aguero were there waiting I put it into the back of the net but it could have been Aguero it could have been Alex Vidal who was around there behind me as well as you can see number 12 3-0 to Barcelona here but Wolfsburg really do not deserve to be even behind let alone uh, by three goals Luis Gustavo on the edge of the box scoops it in oh Julian Draxler that would have been ridiculous was he offside? Or oh, no, they're having a bit of a pop at each other. I think he was offside there, Drax, though. We are going to get a free kick. If that had flown tops and had then been disallowed, they would have been fuming. That would have been the second goal in this game, disallowed for offside. But fortunately for uh, Draxler to uh, kind of save his frustration, although, to be fair, he's probably frustrated anyway, being 3-0 down and having won a corner there with that overhead kick. But it would have been worse it had it gone in. But a great save again by Testegen, who's been the difference re here, really. Uh, Benaglio's made some good saves at one end. Uh, unfortunately, has conceded three goals, though. And then Testegen at the other end has made some good saves but not conceded any goals which has just been the, the difference our goalkeeper has been perhaps even luckier than theirs because obviously that third goal especially or second goal sorry especially where it dropped to me or no was it the third one or the second one it was the third one wasn't it where it just dropped to me oh hello that's over me uh, the third one where it just dropped to me uh, they've been really unlucky here Wolfsburg like I say they've been the better side in this game to be fair but they find themselves on the end of a hiding and it could get worse still if Messi can find a teammate here and he's actually oh I thought it was going to me it's in the end Busquets has taken it off my toes and fired it over the top of the bar denied the opportunity for a hat trick again but never mind we are going to get the 3-0 win there goes the final whistle it's a 3-0 win here at home against Wolfsburg the fans are quite rightly celebrating quite wildly because that was not an easy game and it was a hard fought victory we got two goals in that one First one was really well taken. Second one uh, was, well, I couldn't miss really. But they had more shots than us and more on target too. It's just that we scored all three of us that were on target. They had four on target but couldn't score. They deserved at least a point from that Wolfsburg, at least. So uh, I'm delighted to have taken the win and by such a margin as well. The other result in our group was Fenerbahce 3 and Elect 1. So ourselves, Fenerbahce and Wolfsburg are now all on six points. And uh, unfortunately for... Uh, for Anderlecht, they sat bottom of the group on zero. But that was saying in the news there that apparently Luis Suarez... Can I get to the news? Is there a news tab somewhere? Maybe I need to... Yeah, there we go. Club news. Luis Suarez... Yeah, clubs line up to tempt homesick Luis Suarez. Arsenal and Everton are both thought to be interested in signing Luis Suarez after he found said he's finding it hard to settle at his new club. Well, that's bollocks because he's been here for four years now. Five years, in fact. We're in the fifth season and he was at... Um, Barcelona for a year before this as well so apparently it takes six years to become homesick and when you're homesick in Spain of course when you're Uruguayan you want to move to England again that's definitely the right way to solve 
uh, being homesick, isn't it? Never mind. We'll take on Hetafe next. Hopefully Luis Suarez changes his mind and decides to stay. But maybe if we can help him, maybe assist him a couple of times in this game, that will sway his decision. Douglas is going to fire it into me. Good first touch into Luis Suarez who lays it off. I might go back to Luis. And we have done. And that is 1-0 Barcelona. A lovely move after six minutes. Hetafe find themselves behind. That's just pure quality. There's nothing else to say about that. That is just pure Barcelona play and a quality goal. Ball into me, into Suarez. A 1-2, a 1-2-3 and a first time finish into the back of the net. Top stuff. We're 1-0 in front at home against Hetafe. Sandro is going to pull that back to me. Just get away from the man. I actually played it in there to uh, Poco. He's got it to Alex Song. Back to Poco. Luis Suarez back to Alex Song. Again, this is a really nice move. And Suarez again with the first time hit, but it's well saved down low by the keeper this time. Took a rather scuffy shot there, Luis Suarez, unfortunately. Could have been 2-0 had he fired that one in with the same precision and power that he did the first. But nevertheless, we're still in front. Twisting away, get it to me, Poco's in space, could have a shot, he has done, oh good save by the keeper, Suarez trying to get there, but it's cleared away, oh no it wasn't cleared away by the defender, that was just a really bad touch from Suarez, unless the defender headed it against Suarez and it went out, the rain is really coming down here, but we are dominant so far in the opening 20 minutes, they can't even keep hold of the ball, Hetafe, let alone have a chance at the other end of the pitch, this is a very competent uh, Barcelona performance to this point. Oh, lovely ball by Poco. I don't know how Sandro is in so much space. That's an easy goal. Where would their defence gone? That was ridiculous. I didn't even see that pass from Poco or see the pass to Alex Vidal as even a thing. And then he's just played it across there, just turned. And then <laughs> he's in behind, Sandro. I don't know what their number 14 was doing. Just no defensive shape whatsoever from Hetafe. Really poor on their part, but we'll take a 2-0 lead. Thank you very much. Sandro is on a run. Complain Luis Suarez. Suarez just ran offside. Sandro now find me and we'll try ping it tops. Oh, great save by McGeary. Really good save that was headed to the top corner as well. Needed to be made to stop us from making it three. Substitution is being made. I don't know who it was that came off or on, but we're back on the corners, which we weren't for the first game. And we might find Luis Suarez here. We found someone. Was it Ten Yedvai with a header over the top of the bar? Unfortunately, still just the two goals to nil. Klaus into Sarabia down the line towards Wanderson who's just come on as a substitute pulls it back actually really nicely to Mbaka shame his touch was bad Duarte on the ball though Hetafe trying to get themselves back in the game there is still time to do it Mbaka with a better first touch this time around to the man in the middle Emmy. across to Dennis oh, it's Damian Suarez sorry not Dennis Suarez oh, it's a great ball into Sarabia and there's the shot oh that was rifling towards that bottom corner again top save by Testegen if it weren't for the quality of our goalkeeper in between those sticks we could quite easily have conceded about five goals in today's episode he's just made some wonderful saves that was a really good struck shot really well struck shot by the Hetafe man and if that had been us at the other end you get the feeling it may have gone in but sadly for Hetafe it didn't and it was a brilliant save real strong palms down low by the German in between the sticks that stops Hetafe from getting themselves back in it. And with nine minutes to go, it's a 2-0 scoreline. We've got a corner. Oh, I'm tempted to give it to Alex Song on the far side of the box, but you know what? Is that Luis Suarez there with his blue boots on the edge of the D? Uh, no, it's Sergio Busquets. Never mind, we found him quite accurately. And we may still end up with a third. We've hit the bar. Wow. We almost did end up with a third goal. Messi to me. I'm going to go for the fancy one. Oh, but it couldn't quite find the target. What a goal that would have been from the edge of the box. Down off the bar and Suarez couldn't get there. Unfortunately, my uh, my effort, not as good as the previous two. Never mind. Still 2-0 with five minutes to go. There goes the final whistle. It's a 2-0 win here at home against Hetafe after our victory against Wolfsburg. The Wolfsburg game was really difficult and Hetafe had a couple of good chances in this one, especially that final effort that was well saved down low by uh, Ter Stegen. I still have no idea how he was able to get down to that. Really good shot. We got the assist though for one of the goals and then the other one was a pretty simple ball by Poco into uh, the man. Uh, was it? Sandro that scored it was wasn't it Sandro we fed Luis Suarez so uh, a 2-0 win on the top of our 3-0 win against Wolfsburg but we could quite easily have conceded four or five goals in that episode I've not really got too much of an idea how we've come away with uh, two clean sheets 
To be completely honest, we won man the match, as you can see, top right. So we'll take that. That will go towards our uh, accomplishments. As we we'll see, as we saw in the previous episode, we still have quite a few left to go. If you missed the last episode yesterday, I went in and had a look at some of the accomplishments that we've got left to do. So if you're interested in that, then definitely uh, head on over to the channel page and check out yesterday's video. We've got Albacete. The draw has been made for the Copa del Rey. So we have Albacete, and then uh, that first game will come in the next episode. And then mm, three games in a week here, two in the space of three days. So I'm, we probably won't be selected for both. I'm not really too sure what happened there. International friendlies, I'm not really too fussed about, to be honest. So we'll probably give those a miss, even if we are selected for them. But we're coming up towards the January transfer window. This is going to be the last um, game in October, Albacete next. So not sure what's going to happen with Luis Suarez in January. Hopefully he stays. But for now, that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't to this point. But for now, I'll see you next time.